installing Java should be a super simple process and I'm gonna teach you how to do so. Let's get started. The first step to downloading and installing Java 17 is to click the second link in the description, which will bring you to, of course, our written guide on how to download and install Java 17. Now, this is an in-depth guide in here. You can read through it and look at the screenshots if you wanna learn how to install Java 17 or you have any troubles. But if you just wanna follow along the video, just scroll down until you see this download button right here. Go ahead and click on it. That will redirect you to the javaoracle.com website. In here, we're gonna look for Java 17. As you can see, it's selected automatically with the link in our guide. However, what's not selected automatically, it's the operating system. We're installing it for Windows, so we're going to select Windows right here. And then we're gonna click on the x64 installer, which is the middle one. That is going to start the download automatically. In my case, it asked me where to save the file, but for you, most likely going to download automatically. And once we have that file downloaded, all we have to do is drag and drop it into our desktop. Now that we have Java 17, and before we go ahead and install it, I want you to head over to where it says type here to search. If you're using Windows 10, if you're using Windows 11, just find your taskbar in here and find add or remove programs, open that up. And in here, we're gonna type where it says search this list and we're gonna type Java. Now, in this case, I already got rid of all my Javas before I installed Java 17. However, if you have Java 8, Java 7, maybe Java 18 or any other Java, I do recommend that you get rid of it before installing Java 17 because if you have two Javas running on your computer, your jar programs or any program that uses Java might struggle a little bit when opening up because you won't know what Java to use. Anyways, once we have Java 17, in order to install it, all we have to do is double click it. Once we double click on Java 17, the installer, we might get a prompt with the administrator sign asking us to allow this program to run. And then the installer will open. Go ahead and click next in here. If you want to change the installation folder, go ahead and do so. In my case, I'm going to leave it as default. Click next again and just wait for Java 17 to install. It's that simple. Now, after you install Java, if you're still getting issues with your jar files to open, that means that you might have to run a jar fix. At this point, if you just wanted to install Java, you're done with this video, go ahead and leave a like, a comment, and you could close out from the video. But if you install Java 17 to open jar files and your jar files are still not opening, that means you need to run a jar fix. If you click on the third link in the description, you'll get our guide on how to run a jar fix. It's a three-step process, literally super simple. All you have to do is click on this button that says download jar fix here. That will redirect you over here where you're going to click where it says jarfix.exe, this little blue line in there. That will download jarfix automatically. Again, we're gonna drag and drop jarfix into our desktop. And once we have jarfix, all we have to do now is double click it. That will prompt you with the administrator sign again, allow it to run. And then as you can see, it says in here, jarfix has been registered successfully. That's it. All you have to do is open jarfix and all your jar files will be updated to match your newer Java version, which is Java 17. You could go ahead and click on OK, and that's it. You could even delete these two files now after you install Java and you updated the jar files with Jarfix. I hope you enjoyed this video, and as always, bye-bye.